Hello, welcome to my laboratory. Everybody's got a color that they look good and they feel good and it's like their color, their power color. And for me, it's black. So I have a pile of clothes that I've been saving up to dye black. I got this kit on, where did I get it? Michaels. And I am going to dye my clothes black. Okay, I think it's more sustainable. So this was about 11 bucks and let's see how it works. Okay, first things first, let's unbox it. But it comes with Colorstay Dye Fixative, Jet Black Dye, some gloves. Okay, first things first, we gotta put on our gloves. I'm going to use the tub method, so I have a, a bin here, and I have some water boiling in the stove, on the stove. It was boiling, but now I brought it down to just low simmer. I'm going to turn that one up a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to rinse my fabric in hot water, and look what it says. I have too much black clothing, said no one ever. Ain't that the truth? I'm gonna use the whole bottle. I'm gonna shake it up. Oh my. Two pots. Pot. Oh my gosh. It says add a cup of salt and a cup of vinegar. It says salt for cotton, rayon, or linen and a cup of vinegar for nylon, silk, or wool. I think most of the stuff I'm dyeing is cotton and linen. So I guess I'll add a cup of salt. New plan. I think I'm gonna try some on the stove, like a few pieces on the stove. And then I'm gonna try some in the bucket and then we could see what turned out better. Put the white dress in the pot. Put the shirt in this pot. Here we go, I'm gonna put all my clothes in. Holy shit. Yes. Okay, now we're gonna come down to the bucket and mix everything that's in the bucket. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. It's freaking hot in here. And seems like I did not get enough dye or I put too much water. It looks like that white dress is gonna be gray. I don't think these orange pants are taking very well. This skirt, I don't know. It's probably polyester. Probably can't dye that. But you know what? If that's the color, that's kind of okay. It's like olive green. Okay. I think I should have used two bottles. Okay, I'm gonna keep stirring for another 20 minutes. Then I have re-boiled some pots of water for the second step, which is the fixative, the dye fixative. I guess I could tell you guys a little story while we're waiting for this. The other day I came home, so I come in and I hear some rustling in the bathroom. So I was like, is someone in my house right now? You know, I wasn't really too scared. I thought it was, you know, maybe the management or some sort of repairman. But no one had told me, I, didn't, I had no idea someone was coming to my house. So I go in, it is a guy, a dude, and he's sawing into the wall above the toilet. He, and I was like, hi, and he said, hey, uh, I'm here, I need to fix a leak. There's a leak upstairs. And I was like, okay, that's fine by me, like, you do you. So I sit down, 
more dudes started coming in. So I was like, okay, what's, what's going on? One of the dudes starts sawing at the wall and I hear a, oh, and I look over and there's shit, poop, splattered all over the walls, oozing out of the walls. <laughs> and I was like, what is going on? It started stinking and then more dudes started coming and I was like, what is happening? Four o'clock strolls by, I need to pick up my son. I was like, um, you guys, I gotta go pick up my son, but there's poop all over and poop all over my shoes. So I had him open up my shoe closet and try to find me some shoes. And the only shoes in there were <laughs> these like black high heels that I wear like once a year or something. Yeah, it's been a whole debacle. Um, the When I came home, the management said um, they were gonna give us $500 off rent next month. But then all my friends are saying that I should look into it more because I might be able to get more because they exposed me to a biohazard and my son. There's still like shit on the edge of the door, like in little crevices. And I've been kind of just blocking that part of my house out, like in my brain because of how crappy it is. So what do you guys think I should do? You know, that kind of, it's kind of shitty. I just realized that I should have done this in the bathtub <laughs> or somewhere where I could pour this out easily. Cause now I have this like bucket of water that's hella heavy. I don't know what I'm gonna do. All right guys, it's nighttime now. It's been a while. I did the second step off camera because it was just too much <laughs> filming and doing all that. So I did the fixative, I washed it, I dried it, it's ready. Time for the reveal. Let's see if all this hard work did anything, if it was worth it. I'm gonna go try on the stuff now. Here are the overalls. What do you think? Did it do anything? Does it look any different or does it look the same? I think it's just like one shade darker. <laughs> Here's the skirt with the top. The top has a weird cow print tie dye look here's the other look third look i definitely like these pants i think i liked how they turned out i would definitely wear these the crop top is like an ashy gray color i love this chocolate brown i think it's way better than that neon orange that it was previously. This is definitely an outfit that I would wear to work. As for that stain on the shirt, it's still there. It was a bleach stain. So I think I would be pretty surprised if it was able to mask that. <laughs> so this one, only the top got black. It wasn't super even and everything else got gray so we've got this gray and black moment i almost feel like i'm in like a disney fairy tale movie as an extra just with like the sleeves and the skirt i was hoping the whole thing would be black but i don't know what do you guys think so overall what did I learn? I learned that I actually should sit down and calculate the math. And I think I needed two bottles for the amount of clothes that I did. I learned that synthetic fabric doesn't work. 
and I read and it said this was cotton, like 90% cotton and the 10 percent I forgot what it said, um, nylon or something? Or polyester, I'm not sure, but I was hoping this would catch on, and this could catch on, but I don't know, maybe it's because I didn't use enough dye. So now I'm contemplating whether I should re-dye everything that didn't get dark enough, like this, and this top. I don't know, what do you guys think? Thanks for coming on this journey with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.